Welcome back to the Aces ROG Dream League. We saw one kind of unexpected match, I would say. Roxkis defeated Cloud9. And how they defeated them, right? I mean, was it Cloud9 really? Was it entirely Cloud9 team? It was half American region. I'd say it was um, three fifths around. A pretty strong tribute hmm. to Cloud9. <laughs> I see. I, I see. think it's, I mean, the way they played it, there was one really questionable disruption on bottom, sneaking, not sun striking. There was a couple of obvious misplays, but all in all, I think the strategy really revolved around Envy being able to get a little bit more mm -hmm. out of the situation that he was given. And I think if they had gone aggressive, sure, you could potentially rotate the lanes, but still, just by starting aggressive and making the other team move, you put yourself at an advantage because you're there first, you know? Right. And you're not spending like money on TPs, you're not wasting the time of rotating three heroes to one particular spot. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if safe lane was the best idea, but it's what they went with. And even with the blink dagger initiation and being able to chase people down, they could never really get a firm foothold on the game. Yep. Right. Yeah. So, anything else to add? Or did I cut you off? Well, the thing I want to just quickly add is I feel Clockwork Cogs, Frozen Sigil, and Super Ice Shards, good. and Traps, all of that against all these melee heroes were ridiculously hard for the people. Leap, with. even. Well, they just they can't walk around. Like Envy was just stuck around in, in cogs or whatever else for the longest time. Yeah. So it was just, especially when against two, three melee cores, it's just hard to play in that kind of situation. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mobility. It was good. Uh, yeah. Rock, around. Rock's keys played well. They still have chances of getting into the top six. Really, really hard chances, but they still have chances. And Cloud9, they kind of dropped off that first position, comfortable uh, first position they had. And Empire, if they win everything, they will be first. They still are kind of safe in the second position because Alliance is the only team with two losses. And even if Alliance wins everything because they lost to Cloud9, Cloud9 will still be second. But speaking of Alliance, we can go to the next match, oh, yeah. which is going to be, I think, one that people are looking for. Andy is impressed. Um, and it's going to be Alliance versus Empire. I wasn't impressed for the game. I was impressed for what Lumi was looking at. Good. No, I mean, I'm sure I'll be impressed by the game, but I can't be impressed before anything happens. Good, but are you looking forward to this? I yeah, mean, personally, course. I think this is the match to watch. Yeah, today, you could watch sure. any match right now. Alliance and Empire. Alliance just came from winning DreamHack Bucharest. They seem to be on fire once again. And Empire is the first team, right? Like, they're first. They only lost one match to Cloud9. Yeah. Hey, man, EG are now ranked number one. EG and, a, and, and, Sma a Dota and one. Smash, second best player in North America. Yeah? Yeah. Smash? Yeah, the smash. Revenge. 357 e Smash, aka Revenge oh, Smash, aka yeah. Left is Team Smash. That one. That, that one. Smash. Uh, so irrelevant Smash. Right now. Didn't For he now, yeah. yeah. He's, He's, not on a team. He's not on a team. Okay. Irrelevant. Hey, maybe TA5. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, but Alliance versus Empire. I think the game is kind of starting right now, so yeah. we'll go quickly through it. As we said before, Alliance, only two losses. They've been playing really well, but well, they're the team that play the least matches in the Dream League. So they will have lots of matches to play, not only today, but mostly during Saturday and Sunday. So most likely they're in. But they still have to wait a lot until to see what happens, where they will stand. Position, yeah. They can be top two, they can be bottom uh, four from the top six. There's a small, super, super small chance that they could be out of the competition, but that's like so unlikely that we'll not even discuss that. I think if they have to play with Rockskis, which I'm not sure they have, and they lose all the matches, then Rockskis could win the tiebreaker against them. But it's like so unlikely, Tiny, right? Like, yeah, okay. And Empire, Empire are just looking good. They're soaring. Yeah. If they win today, they will only have one more match to play, and they will be comfortably 12 and 1, meaning that it's going to be very hard for other teams to reach them. Um, yeah, looking good. So, without much to say, guys, what do you think? Who's going to win? I want to go with Alliance, honestly. I want to say Alliance can take it because Empire have the style that's very aggressive, but not in the way that they necessarily look for kills, but in the way that they want to try to assume map control, like very quickly. Like you pick heroes, like they brought Lycan back into play pretty mm -hmm. strong, you know, Silent mm -hmm. played it for, I don't know, like a hundred million games straight or something like that. Every time they get it, they just kill your tier ones. They could potentially go for a Roshan after Dire Side, which they are this game. But uh, I'm not going to give away too much about the draft because no spoilers, please. No spoilers, but I, I, I just no. think that Alliance are going to win. I really don't have like a, a sound reasoning behind it. I'm just like... In your go feel I just feel feeling. it. Yeah. Okay. Lumi? I think Empire is just looking more solid lately. Uh, obviously, there's a new patch here. Alliance did some crazy thing with the Huskar. So with maybe a kind of a funky draft, they could take Empire by surprise. But to me, Empire as of late is the better team. They're playing. Yeah, I like think a better so. Team. I agree yeah, with Lumi so. on this one. Mm -hmm. I think yesterday they played really well. Yeah. And I mean, I called Empire to win the whole thing the first day, right? Yeah. Except you didn't call them to win the whole thing yesterday. 
No, I didn't say that. I said uh, that you, they might lose to dog, but no, you called the final match. And yeah, they weren't I was it. not in there. You oh, were not right, that's true. That's true. I was like, I was no, I was saying, wouldn't it be fine if Navi and Alliance were in the final, just showing everyone? But yeah, I, I kind of think Empire is the strongest team right now, but it's a game of inches, so mm. every inch counts. Uh, so having said that, actually, uh, something that production pointed out: the Alliance versus Rockskis match is the last match of the Dream League. Oh, that's so kind of cool. Assuming Rockskis wins everything and Alliance loses everything, holy shit! That, that would match epic. would be the decider. Yeah. But that's like the yeah, road starts on. here. The road starts now. Alliance, you had to win to be completely qualified. Um, and if you don't win today, you will have another four chances. So <laughs> Not really that epic. <laughs> Not really that epic. But no. Anyways, good luck to both of the teams. We're going into Ooh. the draft. And Andy, I will hold your hand for 10 minutes. Thank you. And you will be back. I will be back. Cool. I think go. I might need to okay. change my vote. Okay. <laughs> Politician style. Okay. Because in this game between Alliance versus M Team Empire, we see a Axe second pick. I think we saw an axe second pick yesterday as well, right? Yep. yep. And right. how did that work out? It was pretty good. Yeah, honestly, it went all right, yeah. Well, it didn't help that Team Dog picked a melee carry in the form of PA on the other side. Yeah. I'm so but a very... Hey, PA is one of Loda's favorite heroes, right? Well, I don't think Alliance will pick it here. I'm so a fervent believer that if you pick axe, you need to have the lanes to guarantee that your axe has a strong early game. Yeah, he needs Quick levels. level six, yeah. quick level seven, like very necessary. So when you pick Axe so early, you allow the enemy team to pick around it. Like maybe less melee heroes, for example. Right. One of the better way to win a lane against melee hero is walk into it. And there's nothing you can do as a melee hero. What do you think of the like, Rubik first pick? What's up with that? It's Rubik Darts here, right? Like you look at these two, as, because Mirana was the first pick. Yeah. So it's not like a, yeah, but they, a kind they, of a first pick situation. Well, for Alliance, they first picked it. Like, like it's, that's the hero they wanted the most. Well, maybe they want the Darks here more, but like they... Yeah, that's the thing. It's like... Uh, they, they, they still picked it in the first two. Would you see Mirana? What's the logic behind it? Hmm. I think I that know. Rubik is one of those heroes that just... I mean, it's a support, right? Yeah. So it doesn't impact your game much, particularly. It okay. brings the standard things that most support have, some damage, some kind of disable. But in, the, in essence, when you see Rubik on the other team, you're like, oh, I can't pick this hero because... Rubik is going to steal this big spell. So it blanks a lot of heroes? Yes. Think? It's okay. like a big blanket ban, if you want to think about it. Okay. You won't want Enigma or Bane or some of the heroes that have really cool stuff that you can steal. Maybe like even Sand King. Magnus? Uh, yeah, Magnus. I think Magnus is a little bit easier to... I don't know. I've seen S4 steal quite a lot of... No, no, S4. Not AGM. AGM, yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see that as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's the, the case with Rubik. I'm not saying that's the case here. Maybe they have a strat that really yeah. hinges around Rubik. Well, this is a weird draft from Alliance. Uh, I th yeah, Alliance is going mega defensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, they're basically saying if Axe is going to get a call, we're going to say Axe just basically blinked in and initiated it for us. Right. So, because the disruption is going to be there or a lift is going to be there. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this is going to be one of the harder Axe games. And that's why I'm surprised that teams are picking him so early. I think he's a great hero, but you, again, you need the draft to... Yeah, and the thing about Axe is that he jumps on calls and you disrupt Axe. Like, you don't even need to disrupt the, the people that are he's being targeted by Axe. Yeah, because he can't spin when he's not getting attacked. Yeah, so... Well, I think it's better to disrupt the person that I don't know. gets called. I, I would really like to have two Axe solutions spinning for me. Well, here's the thing, though. Even though that Ooh, cool the, the person is not attacking Axe, he's still stuck there. Because he's yeah. still taunted. He's still stunned. So yeah, that's do, you, do you want your, the rest of the team? But yeah, again, Axe blinks in, set up call. Yeah, that's fine. Free setup with a corn, uh, t torn boat. And obviously works amazingly well. Shadow Demon and as well as Darkseer. Like lately we've been seeing nothing but vacuum combos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vacuum Burrow Strikes. We saw last game into, well, just like vacuum and a meteor. This it's game, Vacuum Bow, is kind of pretty old school. It's like people remember that Darkseer is actually a really good hero. Because we haven't seen, you know, two second nerfs on his vacuum for a while. That's now. the thing. So like, oh like, man, he's safe now. Is he though? Get a four second nerf is. in the next one. I think he is. But it's going to be interesting. And now he's a Wraith King, and we have Wraith King, Axe, Ancient Apparition, and Mirana. Like, you have three very clear cores. Uh, Axe was played by Mag last time. It was a. Yeah. Um, dual offlane off with. Yeah, also. dual offlane, yeah. Well, Wraith King doesn't have to be a core. No, he doesn't. It couldn't. Like, it could not be a core. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, if you have a Mirana, Skeleton King, Ancient Apparition, Trial, and that's pretty scary. 
in Rome. Um, because there's no way you're going to miss the arrow, and there's no way the Kofi is not going to yeah, proc. Alliance think Wraith King is going to be a core, so they ban their Bane. Yep. Which is strange, because you have the Rubik. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I think they were more worried about the sleep. But arrow. what if they Fins grip the Rubik? Mm. Uh -huh. Then Rubik. Then Disruption. Then Where'd you get that? I ninja do. Okay. Well, we asked. We asked. You're not getting nothing. Andy to get us water. Is he gonna remember? Andy, are you listening, please? No, he's not listening. Damn. He can't listen. But yeah, this is funny as well. It's like, you know how some teams are really strong when you play Alliance? And, um, Alliance. Uh, Radiant or Die. If you look at, at Alliance, they are notoriously weaker when they play the Dire. No matter first pick or second pick. That's they're why just they like, do all these like row strats. Thank you, Andy. That's why you're the dad. I mean, that kind of contradicts the idea of, like, if you're doing rush strats, you're probably going to be better at Dire. Oh, well, it's just either they do rush strats or they <laughs> lose, right? That's my point. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, but yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Like, I'm looking at lanes and I'm looking at this right now. Like, you yeah. have Daxia in the off lane, Rubik plus one in the safe lane, and Shadow Demon Conquer in the mid. Okay. What can Team Empire put against the Shadow Demon and Khan Kamil that doesn't lose really bad. Is it Mirana enough? Like, can you leap away off the torrent if you do? It's you put an axe there. Again, a melee hero. I've been saying this for like... Against Konka and Shadow Demon? Run at him. Run at them. Run at him. Because that's what axe does. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, sure, like, Tidebringer is, it hurts, but it's level one Tidebringer. As long as you exert your lane dominance for the first one or two levels, the lane gets much, much easier. Because you're getting the last hit, you're getting the early bottle. But obviously that's not what they need to do, because it's also fairly scary, right? Shadow Demon Kunkka could definitely get kills quite easily. This is a pretty cool draft from Alliance. Like, I haven't seen some of these heroes in... Who's going combined. to be playing the Racer? Is it going to be a Bulldog Racer? No, sorry. Never mind. Probably no, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's a lot of Racer. racer. I, I completely didn't so, see it. I, I think Bulldog Razor could happen and they do... Normally with Razor, S4 you're saying, Dexter. like, where is Razor getting the damage? I think in this game, you have two very reliable ways to get damage. When Axe blinks it and calls somebody, that's a free target for getting uh, a link on. Also, if you link the Wraith King before he dies, during his reincarnation, you still steal damage from him. Yep. So he comes back alive. Yeah, there's a big slow, but he has no damage for him. And uh, your Razor is going to get hugely buffed. So also Razor gives you that quick mech buyer if you want it to be. He could go so into BKB. Yeah, yeah, they have the options too. Yeah. And then if, you know, the team, the other, everybody else is getting like the supportive item, he could go for the Axe Scepter. Mm. So and I really final, like Razor yeah. here in this game. And the final here is going to be Elishrak, which again, lots of stuns coming from Empire. Every single one of these heroes can in some way or another stun. They only have one like setup stun though, do you know what I mean? They only have the Wraith King to... And the Call. The Call is a stun. Yeah, well, he, it's, it's not an easy stun to land without a Blink Dagger. Well, like, uh, running out the moment. Here's the thing though, after you get a dunk, suddenly the Call gets a lot easier. Yeah, as well, yeah. So. But you have to get the dunk. So, so nobody would be better be casting that dunk, man. Whereas you look at Alliance, they have so many just easy stuns to land. They yeah, X Torrent. Yeah, yeah, but they turn. really, really lack the burst outside of the Conca. Razor is a crap load of burst with his Q. Burst? Burst damage, yeah. No, Razor is not burst damage. Really? It's I like mean, you need to get the static link going. It's no. uh, Otherwise, it's just a plasma field. The nuke yeah. is hardly... Uh, I mean, if you're calling the plasma field burst damage, then let's call Fade Bolt burst damage. No. Fade Bolt is burst damage. Three hundred and seventy damage. It's insane. Wow! Well, uh, but that's it's, like yeah. it's in an AOE. I think your mic is off, Andy. By the way, I think it's sure it's on. Yeah, okay. now, now it's, it's on. on. Now yeah. it's on. Okay, it's on now. Okay. Anyway, um, Alliance's team is basically meant to deter aggression, like straight up. Yeah. Like they're just supposed to be like, you want to run at us? We can static link your Wraith King or your Axe, depending on who leads the charge. We can telekinesis somebody. We can disrupt whoever you stun, and we have a boat buff and a mech carrier, and plus like. If you do choose to just go all in, which Empire have that kind of a style of team, their late game isn't what I would call spectacular, and boat buff is insanely good yes. against Empire's style of team. Yeah, is, I yeah. honestly like Alliance's draft a lot. The only weakness they could potentially have is that their laning would be considered 
moderately weak because Shadow Demon and Rubick as lane supports aren't typically seen as like high tier, very high harass, high damage early. But if they make it relatively well into the mid game, I think they will have a, a pretty distinct advantage, honestly. Like in five versus five, I would bet an Alliance's team almost every single time. Yeah, I think that this game, the factor you look at is how early Matt gets his blink dagger. Remember yesterday when he got like a seven to eight minute blink? Mm -hmm. The game mu went much, much easier. If you have to die once or twice before the blink comes online, you become, instead of an initiator for your team to win a team fight, you become what I call a suicidal initiator. You blink and you taunt and you die from all the focus fire. So I think blink timing is going to be very, very key. He's walking into the off lane, and if he gets two range hero in his lane, like a Shadow Demon and a Razor, that would be horrible. But he sees Can the Shadow Demon. Can you steal uh, reincarnate? I don't no, think you can't. Can. No, you can't. You can't yeah. steal a non-activated spell. So you're going to steal the stun every single time. Yeah. It's pretty solid, to be honest. Yeah, it's very good. The other thing is, too, like, there's just good spells to steal anyway. Like, stealing Arrow. Culling Blade is good, Arrow is good, oh my Hell, God. Leap Culling is good. Blade steal. Holy crap. Like, there are so many useful spells to steal for him this game. The Shrak's stun is so good on Rubik, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, no cast point. Yeah, it's just it's like instant. Yeah. I actually missed it. Because I like was imagining I was the Shrek, yeah, yeah, and I just like, okay, that's done super fast. <laughs> it's not great. It's a really, really good stone as well. Pretty decent AOE. Two seconds stone, I believe. I'm I'm just looking forward to the Calling Blaze deal because Axe does have a very long cooldown, uh, a fairly I long guess, cooldown as other spells. You know, the more I think about it, I actually kind of just favor Alliance in every stage of the game, because even during the early stages where you could argue that Empire could run some kind of weird aggressive lane, going aggressive with melee heroes against Razor is not really going to work. Like, just period. Yeah. And the only kill potential you would ever have is if your Marana landed an arrow, which can be disrupted. And the only time you would ever need to disrupt is for the arrow. So, like, in terms of ease of execution, Shane kind of hit on this before, it's way easier to play Alliance's team than it is Empire's. Like, way easier. Well, at least for now, Empire gets a small advantage because they're forcing a lane swap. You can see that Loda is with the second melee wave on the bottom. And uh, Bulldog's going to have to TP out of here, but he's going to Iron Shell and at least zone Mag a little bit out. How but much has Bulldog played Darks here? I know he's played it a little bit, but I think it's one of his lesser played heroes. Yeah, right? it's definitely not a go-to. Right now, Mag is just going in trading hits, but he's really not getting the spins that he needs. Yeah, he only had one creep attacking him there. He might so. just straight up die here. No, he's not going to die. He'll have to run, but he won't die. Yeah. I can't believe neither of them saw each other ward. Yeah, they dropped him at the exact same time. And okay. middle lane looks like they're going to get the first blood on resolution. Marana down. That what? combo. Torrent. The damage, man. Yeah, it's really good. I guess she leapt. DD as well on Ake. Yeah, yeah. well, her leap is on cooldown, so. Yeah, well, Ake had a DD, so. Yeah. That's why. Well, I was saying maybe. She, she left oh, in get the leap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Or maybe a leap during and then got torrented afterwards. But in any case, self cancel is not too bad. But yeah, S4, very happy with this lane with the bottle being delivered. You could just hand your bottle to Ake and have him pick up all the runes for you. Game is good for Alliance. Yeah, not too bad. And I kind of, like Bruno was mentioning, how they don't really have a lot of bursts. The thing is, a team doesn't necessarily need burst if you soul catcher and focus the right person. You know? Yeah. Because it's a basically taking away effective HP from the hero, like by twenty percent, thirty percent, whatever. Fifty you know? percent. Well it's it's not exactly that, but Disrupt. that's how you can think of it. S4 is not gonna go for the torrent oh. here. He's just gonna let uh, Did he fake it? Let resolution walk see. away. No no no, he didn't. He didn't even cast. He's just like, Nope, not gonna torrent. But in those situations Ooh. you don't necessarily need heroes with high burst. You just need to be able to keep Empire from running at you. Like that's yeah, yeah. that's what the team does best. And you don't even have to land your boat. Like, if Mag blinks in, just throw it over. and you disrupt and you throw a boat, like, you're oh, not going to oh, do oh. any damage. Mag's going for the call here. Yeah, here comes the big smoke It's not going to matter, though, unless he hits two. Coming from the backside, if, if you pick off the Shadow Demon, oh, oh. yeah, here we go, the call's going to be there. We're going to see the stun, Rave King coming! Leap first side, that disrupt. Oh. Okay, yeah. they're going to get S4, though. S4 taking a ton of damage. He's pretty the stun tanky. is going to take in as well. Sir? Resolution starts, so I'm not doing too much. And here comes Kunke, he wants back in. Two seconds back to the torrent. Four men descend on the mid lane and zero kills. I think Mag initiated too early, though. I agree as well. Like, just a second I think, later. I think he was worried that Ake was going to run too close to the tower to be able yeah. to go in. So, I think he felt like he had to go. But, like, how many people... They just sent four mid. And they couldn't get a kill. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Like, how are they supposed to kill this? 
And that's what Empire's team is built to do. It's all on Wraith King. I'm pretty sure it's all on him. They need like... No, Wraith King is playing the, the support here. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like, it's all on him to initiate. Oh, I see, I see. I thought you meant the game's on him, no. but uh, the game's oh, on Silent. He's playing a carry Lashrak. We haven't even talked about this. How do you think it fits in this particular game? Well, carry Lashrak is nice in those situations where you might not have a whole lot of BKB buyers. I guess the Kunkka would make a BKB in the Razor. But I still feel like a carry Lashrak is meant to do really like high amounts of AoE damage. But again, if your boats are on point yeah. and you have a mech, it, it just doesn't really feel that good. Resolution's oh. going to be leaping away here from mid, but he's just too slow. He's too slow, man. He can't walk slow. away. The Shadow Demon Kunkka. Strong. Was it um the panda people that played this? You've had red pandas. Yeah. They would run <laughs> like... <laughs> the panda people. Huh? Panda they, they would play like Kunkka Void. Stuff like that with yeah. Shadow Demon. And it worked. I mean, there was varying degrees of success. But the thing is, people who play Dota in the competitive scene, like for any region really, it's very trend based. Yeah. So people see something that's good and load Bot up. Lane arrow gets bottom hit. Lane. We're going to see a disruption and it's going to make it. Call's going to be there. Ammo Bulldog's going to be dropping down. Meanwhile, in the back of the bot lane, Loda survives with one HP. That's it. Oh, the stun gets shooted and he gets salve in the jungle. Lashrak was about to cast and EGM just picked him up right before the cast. And he cast points off, but it looks like Lashrak's going to come right back in. We're going to see a blind stun. EGM eats a stun, but runs towards the tower. And they do see silent there as well. So close calls all over the place. But they did get a Bulldog kill up top with Axe uh, contributing that kill. X right now is just straight up jungling. They rotated resolution top as well. You just can't get anything mid. And they just were doing the abandoned mid <laughs> meta. The abandoned mid. This is to me uh, like one of the bigger outdrafts I think I've seen. Like in Dream League. The world ever. Well, the he's clearly not. Dota. But yeah. I feel like. What did Empire do? Do they just farm Mag in the jungle for like the next 10 minutes and hope that he gets a Blink Dagger and they can initiate and actually get kills? I think that's the game plan. Yeah, it's you, not you, good. Lumi, you said it right at the start. It's all on the Blink Dagger on Axe. And how close is he? Not very close. No. Carry Lashrak. I'm surprised that Marana had that much difficulty in the mid lane. Why did, why did he go Lightning instead of Edict? Like, would, if, if, if I think Carry Lashrak, I think I want to push Towers and push my advantage. I think it's because Edict isn't really good in full engagements unless you just have a bare bones tower that you can freely attack, which I think is kind of asking a lot in the oh, situation. Here comes Mag on the top lane. It's going to be, ta oh, at least trying for it. There's a taunt. That's going to hit. Leap into arrow, but the la damage link is going to be coming in and Marana is already running away. He's getting a ton of spin. There's one dunk and they want a little bit more. There's a damage drain, but Axe doesn't really care about that. They'll back off. That's another kill and Mag gets himself only, um, pissed. It's only a level one link. Yeah. Wow, S4 is so close to 6 right now. He doesn't have his boat. He should just kill a neutral keep. Yeah, he's going to go to the lane and get 6 before, I think. Or Legion, yeah. Yeah, he shows himself, so... There we go. Boats now ahoy. he's got it. I mean, despite how bad the early game is going for Team Empire, they actually got a little bit of extra kills. They're forcing him away. Demarana has 10 CS. Hey, man. Don't worry oh. about it. We'll might get a little bit better. Die. Silent with All the stun. that hits. The taunt's going to be there. I'm the going to see a dunk. Recovery, the boat's gonna hit here, but S4, do you wanna be, look at how fast they're walking. Yeah, there's gonna be no kills here. Oh. The stun's gonna hit, second dunk, ah! Uh, blink Dagger online soonish. Okay, that was a questionable play. Yeah. Diving into a tier one like that, taking all Loda the damage. suiciding, yeah, wasn't great. Hmm. Well, Courier died as well, it's a bummer. Shadow Demon, going here mid. Gonna find Vance score. EGM actually not able to get he didn't close have enough for a lift. Both. Well, I think a lift actually would have killed him. Yeah, with the soul catcher on top, the right click would have done. One of them would get stunned, but I was gonna fly. Oh. So the the important thing for Alliance is that they can't dive like that, because in order for the dive to work, the boat pretty much has to hit on your teammates before you start taking any damage, or at the very least, you have somebody there to disrupt to prevent damage from coming in until the boat is actually thrown. But Loda just walked in and died. Yeah, like, that kind of stuff, like, what, like two minutes ago, Mag had 450 gold. Yeah, yeah and then they gave him two kills. Yep. Three kills? You need his blink dagger. Like, yeah. It completely unbalances the whole game. Like. 
Yeah, and I, I wouldn't say Razor and to a certain extent Kunkka are heroes I could do a lot without items. I, I think Kunkka could still do something with his Torn Bow. But... Uh, I would disagree, actually. I think Kunkka and Razor are both really strong without items. Like, sure, you want Razor to get tanky, but Kunkka's combo is still insanely powerful. Yeah, and... no, Kunkka has the nuke damage, but I feel like Razor definitely needs farm. I, without yeah. farm, I, I see him being a non-factor in this game. But he's not maxing Link, so even in cases where you would mention, yeah, sure, he wants to go for like tankiness because he needs to be able to get the longer Link, Dyer's he's going Plasma Field. But they're going to smoke bottom. They're going to find Lota here. He's got no help. Yeah. He I mean, he's in Tier Basilius. 1, but yeah, he's dead. Basilius in the stick. Got stick. Wow. So we were talking about how Empire's team is a bit harder to play in order to win, and they're, yeah, they're but playing the, it. The Ray King initiated every time now. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's all, all right, on so him to set it up, like. Alliance go from pretty much winning every single lane super hard to, <laughs> to losing every single lane super hard. Yeah. And we're gonna see like a 9 minute and 30 second blink, unless he gets picked off here. This will be an amazing pick for Alliance. They will yeah. find him. Disruption. Nice. Here comes the Torrent and the Bolt to follow things up. Mag is gonna He's run so towards Ake. The Oop. call not gonna be there and critically lost all... Oh, oh he called actually. He just died yeah. like, when he called. Well... What? Oh, that's really neat, the cold feed thing. Yeah, stole it. That's been in for ages. Has it? Yeah. Oh, BTS had that thing already, right? No, I don't Radiant's think it's been in for ages. I think it was the last patch. Attack. Like two patches, I think. No, no, no. it hasn't really? been last patch. It was the last patch, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Do you even cast Dota, Jurassic? It was 6-8-1. Yeah. I thought it was 6-8. Whatever, man. I don't know. Ages. It just looked new to me. Everything looks new to you, man. Yeah. I don't feel mad I can make. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. So, S4 pushing in the top tier one. No reaction from Empire. Oh. Uh, no, there is one. The Ice Blast is going to be coming up here as well. Torrent thrown out. Always want to fly. Going to get hit by it. Deny Are they going to the get tower. the deny? No, S4 gets the tower kill. Now, always want to fly. Might be some trouble. Mag teleporting in. Gets disrupted. Link thrown out as along with the Demonic Purge as well. The boat comes in, but it doesn't buff Ake. He's still going to take all damage here from Mag. The dunk doesn't even need it. Oh, Just he wants a dunk, Lord. man. He, he really wants a dunk for the movement Yeah, speed. but he didn't need it. So he might need it for Loda. Loda's on his back, and he's getting pincer in no by mana, S4. He, he blinks, buys the blink at the side shot. He nice. gets out. He's seen, though. He's seen oh, Plasma Field gives vision. Shit. He's in there. The Torn's going to be hit for sure. The Lightning the is clouds, just hitting. You clouds. can't run from heaven, especially when you're trapped. And there's he the stole Call. Not, not necessarily the best spell for Rubik to have. A bit of armor. Bot lane. Tower's really low. This is going to be a, a pretty nice micro battle. When I say micro, I mean controlling your own hero, but... Yeah, there, there's not going to be a battle at all. Good stuff. No battle. Just punching. <laughs> it's karate. Ta-da! Dark Seer has the best animation in the game. Hand to face combat. So given how awkward that early game was, I want to say Empire is able to get themselves in a big lead if they get like a series of kills. It's all kills. about fights now, man. Yeah. Like, everything is going to be dependent on who fights better, who moves better, and who gets the map so, control. Like, who do you think has the better fighting hero? You were saying that Alliance has a better draft in every stage of the game. I think that Alliance have the potential to be able to thwart any type of aggression, assuming they play it right. Like, Ake and um, EGM basically have to be nowhere near the front line in At any all, circumstance. Yeah. Because if they go on Loda, or they go on S4, or they go on Bulldog, it's recoverable. But if the supports get caught, then it's just a disaster, because they can't really be saved. The boat takes too long to get there, the torrent takes too long to actually stop follow-up, and like Bulldog, if he has a mech, he might be able to save, but he's like the only other one. So they need to make sure that they have really good positioning. And when they go for kills, it should be pretty much a guaranteed kill if the Kunkka and the Shadow Demon are both there. Oh, that gave away where he is. I think it's go time, boys. Ooh, that oh, that courier. courier. Leave the courier alone, boys! One hit! They don't have enough he's fine, he's fine. Oh, and the smoke is revealed. He's He gets lifted. He needs to leap out. In fact, he's called after the leap, though. Resolution trying to fight EGM. EGM will take that for the team. The tier one tower is going to go down. So while Miwa on the top lane, they are going to get that tier one tower as well. That goes back to the point that uh, Shane made earlier. Why no edicts? At least one point, man. Yeah, but. It's a team that's based around fighting, not necessarily yeah, hitting one towers. One less point in stone and one point in Edict. Yeah, I think so. Them. Edict is just so value. I don't know. I guess it depends. I'm not saying Edict is a bad skill. I'm just saying that in this circumstance, maybe he just thought that having lightning and stun would be better for fighting. Okay, yeah. Radiant's top tower is under for attack. the call, maybe? Maybe that's yeah. the idea behind the stone? And the burst. 
Mm. Like just like edict isn't a bursty spell. It's nice for towers and nice for when you get loads of engagements where it's going to be like just two heroes maybe, and you don't have to split the damage so much. But it's like you wouldn't skill edict in a tri lane, right? Yeah. Like that's that's the reasoning basically. Uh, lane, oh, always, always want to fly. fly. It's a bolt to the He's got all. Yeah. They're leaping in. Resolutions like yeah, I'm fine. This three man ice blast on top. The lightning. The spurf hits everybody. Ake. He's dead. And they want a little bit more. EGM's gonna fight his way out of there. He dies quickly. S4 still got the bolt buff. He's running. He's losing HP thanks to the cocoa rum. He should be fine. And he is. Also point out Lashrek. He's going for a blusto. And if okay. he finishes early, he or is gonna be. Yeah. It's a blast zone, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Mm. The casual ring. I think he's like one of the only heroes in the game who actually is like core item Bloodstone and like. I think Storm Spirit is pretty cool. Yeah, but it depends on what your role is as Storm in the game, right? Like typically you want Orchid for initiation potential and being able to find solo kills and like force pressure. But if you're having like an amazing game, I guess Bloodstone is reasonable. Oh, oh resolution! It's gonna get caught here. X before the leap. You're coming back. Torrent's there to follow it up, and that's all she wrote for Sayonara. the poor resolution. Might be a quick uh, tier 1 push. There are two members of Empire behind enemy lines, though. Mag and always want to fly here. Attack. Mag does have his blank. Actually, Silence here as well, man. Uh oh. Is like, being able, to, being able to backstab is actually Empire's biggest strength right now. Because if they can backstab and get Ake or EGM, like with their initiation, then it's going to be a lot easier for them to take the fight. The smoke gets revealed under Observer War, so Alliance should know that they're rotating back in. There's a lot of AoE online, so they gotta be careful. Lightning is at least gonna hold the push. They should be fine. That uh, mini stone from the lightning is actually pretty neat. So I actually wanted slow. to talk about that. If he wanted to add something to make lightning not seem so bad, why didn't he just take the cast point off Edict again? I don't know. Because it's like the same no, thing. When when Edict didn't have a cast point, Lashrock was picked like every game. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's one of those changes where it's a quality of life thing that people would just be like, oh yeah, this hero was still good. And like arguably is still good even with the cast point. Mm -hmm. well, but it's no. just so people play it more. In that fight though, in the bot lane, he lightning and he got a two, to, two man stun. Arrow? I think the slow actually helped there. Well, but it's a different type of a mechanic, right? Because the slow will help the rest of your team catch up. And it will kind of negate your own cast point, you know? Because yeah. you'll be able to stay a closer proximity to the enemy. Time, but yeah. yeah, but I mean... So you're saying you should remove Splitter? No, no. animation? Well, what? no. What? <laughs> I was like, that's edict. Well, he didn't even use edict there, so I'm not sure why no, you brought up edict. So right. Forget Confused. it, man. Sorry. Just forget it. Well, we'll talk about it later, when when it's not gonna make my brain hurt. So never. Pretty much never. It's fine. Everything's fine. I think resolutions item builds and runner are always pretty good. Like he always goes for the non greed. Kind of just get the yeah. drums, brace, or, uh, damage. The That's what every Marana goes to, no, actually, it's except not. yours. No, it's When's not. the last time you seen a Marana go Midas and not oh, Resolution? He just leaped off into the freaking river, tried to commit suicide, but unfortunately he got X'd and brought back. X gonna give it to you, as they say. Who says the X? Never mind. Mid lane disruption is right. gonna be there. Silent DMX. needs to walk out of there. There's an X and a boat on Always Wanna Fly, but no ulti. No ulti. Okay. He did. The counter initiate, like we're pointing out, Silent's gonna get caught off. Well, the stun, it will hit, Beautiful. but not really gonna do too much after that. Is it DMX? Yes. I uh, know. That's more your Dyer's genre. Lumi. Yeah, it's, that's Lumi's jam. Nah, they, they fake. What? They ain't real rappers. So Alliance, um, they're looking pretty strong right now. S4 has almost got a Shadow Blade. Clearly, Alliance are like leading in terms of the net worth and all that. Actually, it's got its full Shadow Blade in the Courier right now. So, oh, yeah. and Blink as well for uh, for Mr. Eggum. Or no, that's Bulldog's Blink, right? No, Eggum. No, it is EGM's Blink. Wait, okay. No, it was Bulldog's Blink on the Courier, There's but EGM two, just bought yeah. a Blink. He was jelly. He was yeah. like, I want one too, boys. I don't know when the support Ruby could get us. You know. This blink. is the thing though, like Empire's team is so momentum based, like all these heroes really want to stay ahead. Like Marana is okay from behind, but Skeleton King and Axe and, and AA A and Lesh, yeah. all bad heroes from behind. Mm -hmm. Because your burst damage is what you rely on to be able to get kills. And Coco Rum in itself oh, already kind of counters that. They dropped a sentry and they spotted it's them. not in range. No, that's not in range. They were pinging him. the bollocks out of them. I think they were pinging for a ward, like maybe they thought the ward was there. Detection? I don't know. Either way, the point I was trying to make is Empire have this kind of a team where if 
they're not the ones assuming map control and like playing super aggressively, then Alliance are going to get more out of the map. Like just yeah. simply put. AA, Marana, and Lashrak, pretty low HP heroes. Even Alesh, who's going a Bloodstone, only has 1,000 HP. It's going to very quickly get to that point in the game where the Conca Cleave starts to become a very significant portion of outgoing damage for Alliance. And you're going to hit like a Cleave, and two heroes are going to be almost dead. Yep. So, I don't know. I think it's kind of getting out of hand. Empire realized they have to do something, though, so they're going to smoke, look for potential picks. Um, yep. Tier 1's still alive, right, for Alliance mid? Yeah, and they're yeah. TPing people into it. Th yeah, so this is their goal. There's two ways I see it being able to get map control. First, pushing towers. But I think pushing tower against a VAC bolt combo is not what you were. They got to pick be. first. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, trying to pick against this team is also hard when there's serious things like yep. disruption, shadow blaze, surge. I mean, they are going to find themselves one pick right now. S4 is going into the pit. Okay. Do they have detection? I hope they do. They can see them, but they're not going to go yet. All right. Moonlight Fine. Shadow is getting used. Oh, this could be huge. EGM is actually. And the game is pretty own. beefy, to be honest. Okay, okay, that's a call, that's a call. All right, so this is really good initiation. They got both Ake and EGM at the same time. The boat's gonna be going in. Disruption from Ake in a defensive manner. S4 is actually gonna get a kill on Vanscore in the back. Now wants to try to go for Silent, but he's not gonna be able to kill him just yet. Eventually does die to Loda, who is now on a killing spree. Trying to chase down Mag. Leap into the pit from Resolution. Gonna be able to get himself Gosh. out. Always wanna fly, getting his reincarnation popped. Now S4 solo. Are they gonna be able to kill him? No, the wand charges proved to be too much. And Empire still couldn't kill anyone. They couldn't kill a single person. And EGM was caught in the bushes by an axe on his own. With yeah, his but stone. I think like catching both the supports simultaneously is nice. At different times. But S4 went for the other follow-up. Yeah. So instead of there being like a follow-up with Shrak stun or a follow-up like Ice Blast or anything like that, Vanscore just died instantly. Yep. Like he couldn't do anything. So even though EGM and Ake both got caught, there wasn't enough between the two heroes who went on them to be able to kill anything. Do you think they should have focused one down instead of going on the... Well, that's hard too, right? Yeah. Because if you focus one, you either get lifted, you, the get hero you go on gets disrupted. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so hard for Empire to fight. I, yeah. I think that was just mostly great positioning from the Rubik. Like, sure, you get caught at the trees, but if the rest of the team can't go if in it's because they don't blink. Yeah. yeah. It, whatever, he taught me. But Silent, he's going to get caught out here, and I don't think he's going to finish this blast on ever. At this Maybe rate. not. Maybe not. Still has Hellfire Blast stolen as well. So. Good spell, man. Good spell. Pretty easy to get as well here. I just don't know what Empire is supposed to do. Like, how do you play in this position? How do you play when if you don't initiate perfectly, you just lose? I wonder if you start looking towards base defense. I mean, they do have Lightning Storm to work with. Ice Blast is not too Ooh. shabby, but... Yeah, like, but what is... Yeah, they're not defending and getting a lot of farm. Axe gets a Vanguard, which is... Okay. Nothing to get excited is it, about. Is it though? I don't think he really has a choice. See that or a blade mail, I guess, right? Yeah. But the thing is, Alliance don't do a lot of auto attack damage. So what good is a blade mail gonna do? You're Does hoping it... that you eat some spells, I guess, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I think you just hope for a mistake at this point. Uh, at a normal 5v5 engagement, I just don't see Empire has what it takes Dyer's to burst them down. I think they're just sacked here too, yeah. They're sacking it straight up, nobody's defending it. I just think that Alliance drafted brilliantly. Like, even though they kind of made a couple of fumbles. At the start, they were looking... Like, were... imagine if they didn't do that dive top, how yeah. lopsided this game would have been. Yeah. Because that was the only reason Mag got a blink. He was like 1,700 gold away or something. And then yeah. he, all of a sudden, 300 gold. Or something like that. He got three kills in the course of like a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. And even with that kind of a comeback, he still can't do anything. Uh oh, AX is stuck. Top. He has no TP. He's fine. Yeah, he's an ice cream. He's with his family. The trees. Oh, oh. I think they just saw him. Oh. No? Oh, oh, he did. M no. Maybe? No. Okay. No, I think you have to hit him. <laughs> he's, he's fine. I think if I was Vanscore, I would have just panicked a little. Yeah, the chair would be a little wet. Oh, resolution might be uh, shy. Okay, he's getting X. Two TBs are coming in, but he does have team, right? Team? Okay, he's got out. team. Okay. Oh, Blank by EGM. Wow. Always want to fly is going to do Oh, and he steals the Hellfire Blast. They can continue chasing this. Yeah, they will. Always want to fly in a ulti, man. He's dead. Well, rip. At least your A's free farming up top. Yeah, he got out. I think Shadow <laughs> Demon. Out. They're like space created for Vanscore, guys. He he got got out. I think SC is about to solo kill our AA. I think with the urn, he can. Yeah, he absolutely can. 
Like, without a doubt. Go, Agate! But it's too close to the base, I think, because he can get, like, counter-initiated on. Oh, he no, he's a... just going to run into Mag anyway. Oh, he stops the blink. What? Soulcatcher is there. He's, like, you straight up man out fighting. Of no, he's, he's pretty sad right He's now. buying time, man. Ooh. S4 is here. Torrent! They're going to try to go for him. There's three stacks of poison. Four! There we go. He's dead. He's still X when he's dead as well. Bring your corpse back to me. <laughs> Okay, so let's assume for a second that Alliance eventually wins this game. Okay. okay. For our standings in Dream League, we had Cloud9, who was number one for the longest time, Empire, number one for yesterday, both of them dropping a game. If you're Team Dog, you're, you're smiling to yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Well, any team that wants to get to the top six. But, I mean, I guess the bottom part of the top six have to lose. Doesn't necessarily yeah, matter if Alliance or Cloud9. I mean, or... the only thing that could potentially change is the seeding. Yeah, which number one, number two, again, a big deal because you play one less day of Dota. Yeah, at the before the other teams, it doesn't matter so much about these teams. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I actually could see Team, team Dog. Dog were third place, right? Yeah, they yeah. could be second. Alliance fourth. And even first at the end of the, the group stages. Dyer's bottom yeah. tower has Carl. Why does it say Carl on that BKB recipe? Because right now it's using the player professional tag for the display names in game, and his actual name is Carl because that's what he uses to public. Ah. So I think there's like a thing where it doesn't actually show the player's professional name; it just shows what their tag is on Steam. At least that's what I assume. I'm not Bruno, so I don't know. And Bruno's ignoring us. He's just sitting on his phone. Seems like a coding problem. Ah, it's it's an easy fix. Oh, ice cream and destiny. Yeah, it's only a level one ale, man. It does nothing. Yeah, it's kind of your supports are so under level. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like these heroes from behind aren't good. Like AA ult that does what? Like three hundred damage. Like eight percent. Maybe less. less damage. Yeah. I just don't get how they're supposed to really fight it anymore. And the thing is, like Empire got so many kills that they should not have gotten, right? Is it because of Lashrak? Like, Radiant does Lashrak not bring enough to the table? Attack. Well, I think it he was the dies. absence of the Lashrak, really, that hurt the most. Because when they realized, like, oh, that Empire... Was cute. That was really cute. Yeah, yeah, getting the Edict kill on the tower while yeah. TPing out. But I think Empire is smart enough to realize that maybe they know, yeah, it's going to be really hard to fight this team. So our best bet is to try to fight them as early as we can because then chain stun is actually like uh -oh. really freaking good. Horrible, Bow, Max is gonna get hit. Nice yeah, fight. Really tanky. The cooldown on both though, it's only 50 seconds. Like, it's crazy. 45 seconds. or 50 yeah. or something, yeah. 50, it's just slow. So my my personal thought on it is like, if I were gonna pick this style of team and our empire and I was playing against Alliance, I would probably just go like Pretty much what they did mid, like four or five men, like all the time. Okay. Like just try to go for the kills. And especially when your axe gets handed a blink dagger, basically. Yeah. I mean, I just thought they would try to just five man all the time. I don't think they can against a vacuum bolt. Yeah, but what else can they do? They're not going to win late game. They're not going to be able to split push anything. Like, their only choice is to fight. Well, they got to be like warriors, man. Fight to the death. They might be looking Last for one. Last of Mohicans. I mean, I guess they could win late game if they turtle it to like 79 minutes. Around that 79 minute mark. Because Marana and then Wraith King by that point can just live forever. Yeah. But at this stage, like there's probably another 10 to 15 minutes where Alliance's team is just going to be incredibly hard. To and they're going to just getting more farm because they have map control. But here comes yeah. a gank. If they could pick off S4, do you have... No, Dust, Stun, a little bit late. Ice Blast on top of him. Blink. No, nothing. They're afraid. They're just running straight up. Oh, oh it got S4 again. I think I always you have to fight now. Though. You really do. Now S4 is going to take the nuke. He's got a regen rune and a BKB. Here no. comes a bow and all of damage gets buff. negated. Meanwhile, on the back line here, Ammo His Bulldog's agent. driving off the entire enemy team. Shiva comes out. How does he have a Shiva? Vanscore getting picked off. So does always want to fly. Entire Empire team is on the run. And they're not running that fast. Not fast enough. Going to be another X this time on Silent. Torrent's going to follow it up. S4 comes in with the bonk. The does so much damage. Yeah, it's, it's pretty terrifying, to be honest. And that Skeleton King aura, because they got the, the Dark Seer wall. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty legit. I mean, it's going to go away, but it was legit while it lasted. The so they can't though, fight either. With that Bloodstone. Yeah. I, they can't do anything. Like, I, I very... I used to say outdraft a lot. Like, 
But I feel a lot of times an outdraft isn't necessarily indicative of how a game's gonna go. Resolutions are gonna get like. He got arrowed by EGM and just yeah. got annihilated. Wasn't wasn't great. But I really do feel like this was such a well drafted team by Alliance that it would have been a tall order for Empire to win. Like their team just works so well against heroes like Axe and Wraith King. Yeah. Well, they did it again. I don't know. Creep. Oh, oh Link Mag, call. Blink in. He gets a taunt on one. Here comes the lift. That's four. Gonna get stunned by the Hellfire Blast. And Lotus just going deep, man. He's just inside of the base. Bolt's coming in. Oh no, he doesn't get the boat buff. He actually walks a little bit too far. They're still gonna be able to kill Always Wanna Fly, though. I mean, they're just trying to whittle them down and hoping that they could use that base protection to delay long enough. I mean, all you need is get a one or two pick off. Ice Blast is gonna hit. And I think that's enough at least to force him back. Blink Call and Admiral oh. Bulldog, but he's by himself. Disruption's gonna come through. Mag losing a ton of HP, but is it enough? No, it's definitely enough. S4 getting stunned, but Mag's definitely dead. And Resolution comes back in. Two me in vacuum. S4 taking a ton of damage, but he still has Shadow Blade. How is this team not dead yet? <laughs> they are invincible. The are they gonna man. stay for this push? Do they have an urn? Why they not? have a heart on Razor. Has a heart, Shadow yeah. Demon, yeah. The thing about Alliance's team is that they are exceptional at deterring aggression. Like, that's what their team is yeah. for. So, when you're Empire, and your only game plan is to run at them, hmm. and you don't have, like, a Centaur or something, it's not great. I don't, hmm. I'm not sure if a Centaur could do it, either. In this well, I think it would be a bit easier, because Centaur gives you the opportunity for not just one hero to be able to be in position, but your whole team at once, which is kind of what they need. Because if you can instantly kill a hero, then all of a sudden you're a leg up, right? Because you're 4v5. Even if the Stampede goes away, Alliance automatically would have to be on the retreat. Say Ake or EGM die at the beginning of an engagement. Suddenly it's way harder for you to sustain that kind of damage, right? Yeah. So I think a Centaur is a hero that you kind of want with a style like this if you're playing against Alliance's draft, but I'm fairly certain it was banned. I, I wasn't actually here for the bans and picks, but I'm, I yeah, want to say it was. Probably on the first stage as well. Teams yeah. are still very much so favoring that hero. And for good reasons. You know, yeah. still one of the most dominant offlaners. But it's just a really good lesson to take away from this game. Like, not even if you're Empire, but just anyone, really. Is like, you don't always have to worry about like, what your lanes are going to be necessarily, even though I think Alliance did have strong lanes. It's just about what style you want to play, and if it's strong against what the enemy opponent is playing. And in this case, I think Alliance picked, like, a total hard counter to what Empire wanted to do. They um, first picked Morana, and then Alliance second picked Rubik. And Darkseer. And Darkseer. Yeah. yeah, Empire, what they need to do right now is to keep stretching the map open. If Silent could get to that tier 2 tower and perhaps force a TP, or maybe just kill the tower straight out, just small edges. Game of inches for them. Well, it's more like Miles, to be honest. I the mean, problem is you just hope, right? Like. I guess if Silent can get a BKB, maybe they can make something happen. Yeah, and it's actually quite close to it. Except Loda is like already in your base with Aghanims and... I mean, you just sacked the racks right. at this point. Halfway to Refresher, I guess. Oh, there's an X and a Tauron. Oh, Always no. want to fly. He doesn't have his ult either. He did. Only 40 seconds, man. Yeah, you sack the racks, you push mid, you push bottom. <laughs> you, you sack your base. This is Lumi's strategy. This is the 2500 bracket. No, man, it's it's like you're down by so much. There, there's no way you win in conventional Dota. Is this when Zen? No, I, I agree in? with that. I agree with that. Yeah, there's a BKB on Lashrak, and you just go for the Yahtzee. Right now, Van score. You see him? That's like ninja positioning right now. Next to the Roshan pit. Here he comes. Go for Yahtzee. Yeah, that's an arrow hit. Ice blast on top of that. It's no. coming. All right. Oh, it is. Bang. It is. Well, look at that ice From behind. Damage. From behind. That's a one-man call. And here comes Empire. Pop that BKB, man. Okay, wrong direction. <laughs> they can't do anything. Man. They cannot. Double buyback's coming in. Loda's getting focused. He's so got the it's heart. It's still to tear annihilating four. silence. <laughs> it actually on. is. It actually is. The disruption's going to come in. Mag's going to bling it back. Can we get a dunk? Yes, we can. Hallelujah. One for more for Loda. No, he's got a heart. You can't dunk on him. The lightning just killing Mag. Mag wants it, but he oh, can't dunk on him. The EGM says, I'm Shaquille Neal. So All right. Always want to fly. He is not long for this world. The arrow dodge vacuum. And X, Don't always on fly, just oh. walks back into the lightning rod of hatred and just gets zapped to the ground. And GG. There you go. They tried, man. Is that like a French? Uh, GG. Uh, GG.
That was quite, like, even with Sh Shrek having the big B, the Razor also just annihilated him. Yeah. Lot. I mean, it's really easy to look at Empire's draft and say they still could have won, right? Like, they would have had to outplay left, right, and center, but they could have won. The problem is, when you're Alliance and you have a draft that, in, in my opinion, is easier to play, which isn't a bad thing. No, like it's picking very a important. Yeah, it's, it's good yeah. because it puts a lot less pressure on you to play perfect. I feel like Empire had to play perfect. And they didn't. Remember that gank on the mid lane where Mac had Invisrin? Four people. Yeah, Haunted a bit earlier. Gank. Like, yeah. if you get a kill like that, um, perhaps if you maybe land an arrow or two or maybe lap away from an X properly, like, th those are the, I guess, inches that would make a difference between 30, 10 to maybe 25 to 25. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm actually somewhat disappointed by from Team Empire because I know they could play better. I called Again, it, man. Yeah. The draft, the draft was not where it needs to be. Normally, they draft very well. I don't think... It's hard to say because Alliance kind of... I wouldn't necessarily say they innovated this game, but they definitely did something that most people don't do right now. You don't see Razor like they and Kunkka that often together. Yeah. Right? Like They definitely changed it up. They made it work for them. They knew that the goal was to have a couple of tanky cores, like Razor, Kunkka, Darkseer. Like Lumi was saying yesterday how... Um, uh, what team are we talking about? Dog? How they pick? Yeah, Team Dog. They pick yeah. independent cores, and then they just have supports who can like get them to the mid game. Yeah, dance around the place. I mean, that's essentially what Alliance did here, but they did it in a way where each of the cores that they had was very good against the other team. Yeah. So they didn't need supports that could kill because they never planned on playing aggressive unless Empire gave them an opportunity, and they just took fights and won them. Yeah, the only time the Alliance lost fights, uh, I have to remind you guys, is when they dove tier one up tower. Like, yeah. like they, if they just waited for teams to come to them, they won all of those yeah, fights. They went to Baham. Yeah. But they uh, got, got it together. And Go Ham is not always good. No, it's always but, good. But uh, it worked out for Alliance, at least uh, towards the later stage of the game. They'll take this game and continue to improve their lead in the Dream League standing. Meanwhile, it gets a little bit interesting for Team Empire, Cloud9, as well as Team Dog. Speaking of Team Dog, we see them next, right? Why are you looking at me? I I don't know. Who, who do we have next? Bruno's not even here. You're just talking to the room. Look, we're gonna have a game next. Right. Guess, guess, I guess, guess. Just VP Navi. So no dog. We're gonna have VP Navi next. Boom. Good Easy. job, boys. Wait, where guys? Oh.